With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that the kinetic energy of a body is increases by 125% uh, and the percentage increase in the momentum is. So basically over here we have, we have to find the kinetic energy of a body increases by 125%. Uh, percent okay that means what 1.25 times that means over here we have a we remember if you remember there is a formula between kinetic energy and momentum that kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2m okay so if you see over here you can clearly get that kinetic energy is dependent on the square of momentum that means what over here any change in kinetic energy okay divided by k must be equal to two times of change in momentum divided by p because this 2m is basically a constant quantity okay and basically the square will come in front so over here we can clearly see the fractional and if we multiply it by 100 if you see over here you have to find the increase in momentum okay that means what over here if we write delta k by k into 100 must be equal to 2 into delta p upon delta p by 100 okay so basically over here what we have is that we cannot uh, if we don't want to write this 100 that's also possible but what we have to do is that we have to change this 125 in terms of basically the thing that is 125 okay is what is basically equal to percentage is basically equal to 1.25 of the value that means what the fractional change will be 1.25 okay the fraction delta k by k okay basically how did i write this because initially what was k k initial was let's suppose k k final is what it is 1.25 k plus k okay so if we see properly this delta k upon k will come out to be as what this will come out to be as the value that is kf minus ki divided by ki okay so this will come out to be as 1.25 okay from here i wrote this okay so from here we will get delta p upon p which we need as 1.25 divided by 2 so this will be equal to what this will be equal to 0 point and basically 125 is there so it will come out to be 625 so this is our final answer got it so over here our answer will be what our answer will be clearly option number b that is 0 0.625 understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.